what's up? I'm doing a vlog. I just got finished washing my face. My skin, y'all, I am, I just wanted to talk to you guys. My skin is just not acting right. Like, look at all this, honey. Y'all see that texture. My face is not normally like this. Like, I used to get, like, one bump at a time or whatever. But, like, it's just recently been very disrespectful. Probably because it's that time of the month. I'm sorry, guys. But it is. When that time of the month comes, my face breaks out really bad. Also, when I drink soda, my face breaks out. Which, not everybody does that. And I love soda. And it's probably because I love soda that my face breaks out with soda. So that's another thing. Like, combination of that time of the month, the summer, the oil and everything just getting on my face. Oils from my hair and everything are getting on my face. Like, I'm just having the roughest time with my skin as of late. Um, I wanted to do a vlog because there are so many products that, like, I've been trying. And it's, um, it's like, things that I bought that I just want to talk to y'all about. But I didn't want to do, like, a full video because it's not enough to do a video. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, anyway, I just got finished washing my face, and when my skin starts to act a little better, I'll show you my skin routine when I get one, because I'm like a product junkie. I don't know if y'all notice that, but I am. So, I bought this from Walgreens. I don't know why it's sticky. I bought this. I've heard people with, like, sensitive skin raving about it, right? This is, <laughs> this stuff is expensive. It made me, couldn't even talk. Where's the other thing? I also bought the lotion if I could find it. This is just expensive. Like, for these two, I think this was like, they both were like $13. But I heard really good things about them and I heard they were great for like sensitive skin. So, I've been using them for like the last week or whatever. What I noticed about this is that for my dry parts, like my cheeks, I have a combination skin if you didn't know. So from here to here is oily, here, here is dry. For the dry parts of my cheeks, it makes them nice and moisturized and it just kind of gives it like a light moisture or whatever. After I use this, this is the face wash by the way, the cleanser. But for my forehead, it just like makes it extra oily because it's like double the moisture because I have oil already and then it's like moisture. So it's kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> and like down here, it gets... I just like at the end of the day like when I come home and I can literally wipe my forehead and it's oily and it's like it's not just that it's like the combination of the sweat from being outside in the heat like it's been so hot y'all know August is like the hottest of months or whatever so today I was like I need to go back to my old bay which is this which is not even that old because I use all of it that's the reason why I bought new face wash but it's almost empty like this is the end of <laughs> But I really like this one because it washes my face, like it cleanses my face real nice. And you can tell when my face is like really clean because I get like a whole shade lighter if that's even possible. But yeah, I use this just now and I like this because it doesn't leave my skin like oily. It leaves it feeling like nice and clean. Like as you can see, I got a shine already <laughs> on my forehead that's from the oil. And I also used my Amy exfoliator this morning because I just wanted to kind of get the extra grime that was over top of these blemishes a good scrubbing and a good talking to because god damn it I don't understand I need to stop drinking soda I also heard dairy was bad for you um, if you're trying to cut back Honestly, on acne truly your girl not only loves soda but she loves cheese sour cream, milk, but I gotta do what I gotta do because this is not popping y'all, it's not popping, and I swear like every day I'm like finding a new bump and it's just irking the hell out of me, but yeah, I mean, even this, even the lotion, it makes it feel really nice and moisturized, but like in the summertime when it's already hot, it's just adding stuff on top of stuff. You know, doesn't make any sense. Like, on top of my oil, there's, like, a moisturizer. It's just making it more oily. And, like, when I go to sleep at night, I wash my face. Um, I like to apply alcohol over my bumps to dry out the bumps. 
I don't like putting on lotion because I hate that feeling of just having lotion on. But I've been trying to moisturize because I heard even though you're oily, you're still supposed to moisturize. But I actually don't like that. So, still got to figure it out. I'll get it together. I need to drink my water. Like I said, I'm about to drink it now. Another product that I've been trying is this Brow Style Definer by L'Oreal, which is this pencil here. I really like my auto pencils, like, a lot. Like, I go through them a lot. I use them every day. L'Oreal is really nice, and I really like it. This was $9.99. This is bomb. I also have a NYX one in here. I actually do like this one, but the color is way too light. Like, it's like, it's chocolate, but it's coming out like a light brown. But I like this one. This one's $10. I could have swore this was like $7. But I did get it from Walmart. Walmart's cheaper. They started selling NYX at Walgreens. If there's a Walgreens near you and you ain't know that, they got NYX there. So, copy some things. But it seemed like, you know, NYX became kind of popular or whatever. So, they like charge like three extra dollars now for certain products. I noticed that. That pencil wasn't always $10. I don't think it was ever it was like $7.99 or something like that whatever I also like the Maybelline micro brow I think that's what it's called that was the bay before this one love that one and they're both the same price and the brow sculpt in define with the powder and the auto pencil at the end y'all know that was bay that was in like a favorites a long time ago and I've been using that for a long time um, because I didn't like the micro brow at first but then I fell back in love with it. So, I just like these type pencils. And Anastasia Beverly Hills is always bad. But it's good to have, like, cheaper options. So, Maybelline, L'Oreal, and NYX all have really good micro brows. And I saw that Jordana, which they sell at Walgreens, also has a micro brow. So, I want to try that one, too. Because that's even cheaper. <laughs> that's like $3. You know, I like to save money. I need to do a whole video on these micro pencils because your girl loves them. She loves them. So yeah, today is my day off. I'm not doing anything. It's one of them days. I got this on. I'm not doing a damn thing today. I just wanted to show y'all some stuff. Y'all, and I finally got my ColourPop package. Okay, that is a whole nother story, okay? I finally got that freaking thing. And I love ColourPop. I'm going to tell y'all about it. Lighting sucks. Okay. I'm sorry. So as I was saying, I finally got my package from ColourPop, you guys. I finally got it. That's what I was waiting for. If you don't know, this is the top. Up. This is the side of the box. It don't, like, it doesn't say ColourPop. It just says made in LA. And then it's a nice little decorative inside. But I finally got my package. Okay. I got this package. I ordered this package in July. By the way, quick side note. I'm watching this show. It's called The Last Kingdom on Netflix. Okay. This is it. Right here. Even though I closed it. But the actor that plays Uhtred. Y'all, he is so fine. Like, Netflix be finding bays like, all day. Like, he looks so freaking good. <laughs> and he's, like, buffed out and got, like, long hair and got an accent. <sighs> Can't pronounce his real name to save my life. It's Alexander... I don't know. Starts with a D. Anyway, I got it. I finally got it. I can't wait to unbox this and try on the products with you guys. Um... I got this I got this package July 18th like I ordered it and paid for it July 18th it didn't get to me till today and today is like August 19th I think or 20th I ordered during the time that um all their new products came out and I bought four new products so that's why I wanted to test them out with my Murphy stuff but now this is just its own little video um, I bought four of the new products. I can't wait to try them. But because of the backup of orders, it was like crazy. And I was getting super pissed. So, like, I called customer service. Um, not called them, but emailed them. 
But what I will say, what I will say about ColourPop, right? Because I love them so much and I was really contemplating not purchasing from them because they were so, um, they were taking so long to ship out my order. I really was about to give up on them. But what I will say about them is that they answered my customer service email. They also, um, I also wrote under one of their comments. I mean, wrote one of... <sighs> I wrote under one of their Instagram posts or whatever. I made a comment saying I, you know, couldn't find my package. They answered both of them. And they even gave me something free for the time wasted or whatever or how long it took. And wrote a, you know, a little note that says, sorry, I'm late. There was a lot of packages that were late. <laughs> so I'm sure that is just like a manufactured, I'm sorry, but still... They gave you something, they gave us something for, I hope they gave everybody something free. If they didn't, I'm, I'm sorry. But they gave everybody something free for the late, you know, payment and shipped everything. And I had to check the box to make sure everything was there and nothing was broken and nothing was broken and everything is there. So, I will say I will still purchase from ColourPop because they came through with that customer service. That is what is up. You know, when you have a business... I think that is your quickest way to get customer loyalty is by making sure that you answer and try to um, accommodate, and they did. So, I will be purchasing from them again. I didn't give up completely. I'm so hot, y'all. But, yeah. I got something else to show y'all, too. Like, I'm just showing y'all a bunch of stuff. Because it's like, I buy one thing here, one thing there, and it's not enough to do a haul. And it's not cohesive enough for me to be, like, doing a video. Like, all the random sh I bought. Unless y'all like those type of videos. Just let me know. But, yeah, I can't wait to show y'all how this stuff works um, in a video. So, yeah. But, yeah, I got something else from Aldo. Got this big old bag here. So, yeah, I'm doing some unbagging. So, in my older years, <laughs> I realized that I hate my pocketbook. Like, I hate it with a passion. I'm tired of holding my pocketbook. That's just the truth of the matter. Um, so, I wound up getting a book bag here. See, ta-da! It has straps and everything. It's a black leather book bag. Um, it could be worn casual or dressed up. And it fits really nice, especially because, you know, I'm a bigger girl. And you need to make sure that things fit you right and don't look extra small, especially when it comes to a backpack. Because, you know, if you have a small backpack on your back, it kind of looks crazy when you're a big girl because you got a lot of space. But I really like this. It cost me $64. <clears throat> it cost me $64. <sighs> I'm telling y'all, that kind of hurt when I purchased it. But at the same time... I wanted leather. I didn't want like a book bag, book bag, because I am like 31 years old. So I wanted like, I wanted like something nice. You know what I mean? But I really like it. It has a top zipper right here and then the bottom zipper here. So I love my compartments. But yeah, y'all, I had that pocketbook. Um, it's great for like storage purposes and stuff, but it really was just getting heavy. And really getting on my nerves. And I just wanted a book bag. Like, I don't know why. Since I hit the play button, it like goes dark. Anyway, so I got that bag. And I really like it. Um, because, like, Aldo is a place that's, like, affordable. But at the same time, the items still look high quality. So that's why I like them. And even though this is $60, this is still, like, nowhere near, like, most expensive bag. But... I like it. It'll do. It's really nice. If my room wasn't so messed up, I'll show you how it looks on my back. But these are the straps. They're nice and thick. And, you know, I can wear it, you know, comfortably. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, y'all probably like, this girl gets so many bags. But, honestly, not really. Hopefully, I won't have to get another one for a while. And, of course, I had to get me something, like to hang off of it because I'm crazy but got this little olive green can you see the color it's an olive green little pom pom from H&M just to hang on my bag because I just like stuff hanging off my bag I feel like it's too plain 
So yeah. So hot. But um, I just wanted to show y'all that. And it also has like these little side pockets here. Yeah, and it was like I said, it was sixty dollars, and it was sixty four dollars with um tax. So that was my little treat to myself. This I try week. to treat myself um at least twice a month. <laughs> Cause you know, sometimes you gotta treat yourself. I believe in that firmly. Um, but I'm really, like, I still am responsible with my money. Just so you guys know. Cause, you know, I feel like I have to put that out there. I'm still very responsible with my money. I still make sure, like... Name yourself. I want to say, like, five things are taken care of every week. And that is to make sure I have fare for the week. Make sure that I have lunch for the week. Um, money wise, um, make sure I have my transportation. I took care of all my bills and I also give money to my mother um, when it's time to give her money too. So once I do that, whatever is left, that's when I treat myself and I do keep myself on a spending budget. So, like, when I do treat myself those times, I don't go over a hundred dollars usually. Um, that's just my way of saving money. I am saving to move out because your girl been needed to move out. Um, and I'm very proud of myself because I have been making sure to like save my money every time I get paid. Whereas though I can admit, even though I was good with my money, I me, mean, it's like so loud. They're, they're fighting. Sorry. But yeah, I can gladly admit I was one of those girls who used to spend their money every time they would put in savings. Basically, I would put my money in savings one week and then that same week, like in the middle of the week, I would take it out because it was something that I wanted to buy. Um, so now that is totally opposite. If I don't have the money to buy certain things, I just don't get it. I wait until the next week because I'm really determined to save my money. And um, I usually do like $50.00 every time because I feel like even when you're saving and this might just be me but even when you're saving sometimes when you put the entire amount into savings and you don't treat yourself at all or you're able or you're not able to get little things for yourself just like even if it's something small as like what a, a book you wanted or piece of jewelry you want it like something an accessory you want it like something let me see a brush that was the reason why i need to move out that was my mom asking me to see my makeup brushes anyway <laughs> what i was saying was like you i feel like if you don't treat yourself to something you kind of get a little depressed um because you kind of feel like you don't have any money to do anything with and it it does make you depressed well it makes me depressed um, I don't need to ball until I fall or anything like that, but it's nice to be able to go out to a store and get things you need, even if it's girly things. Like, say you just want some shaving cream. Like, shaving cream is not necessary, but it's something that you want. You know what I mean? It's like a luxury to have, like, shaving cream. Like, and I know some people are like, shaving cream, that's a necessity. Technically, it's not. You can use some soap. Technically. <laughs> You know what I mean? Or even face wash. Face wash. You can use soap. But like it's like it's a feeling of being able to get those kind of things without having to say, "Oh, I don't have no money," or being able to buy you something to eat out. Like the struggle of you know being a normal person and having a normal paycheck, and you know not being crazy rich. Like you do have to budget. And you do have to watch what you spend. And some things such as shaving cream or face wash or body wash. Like stuff like that. Even though it sounds like dumb like necessary things. It's one of those things that's kind of like a luxury. And sometimes it's nice to just buy you something. To just not make you depressed that week. That's just my opinion. So I am a firm believer of making sure that I treat myself. Whether it's to a new top or a new bag or just something. It's just something that I like to do. Um, yeah. Tell me if you get like that. Like, tell me if you get like that or you're fine. Like, some people, like, I know some people, 
um it's mainly younger people because they don't really have to pay bills yet but like Younger people, they can put their entire check that they get. Like, they work hard all week, and then they put their entire check into the bank account. And I think that's awesome because I feel like it's discipline, but at the same time, that has to be a little bit sad to have to put everything, you know what I mean, everything into your bank. Or, like, some people, you get your check, you pay all your bills, and you don't have anything left over. It just kind of makes you, like... I don't know. I don't know if it's everyone. That's why I want to keep saying that. But to me, it just is a little down. Like, you know, like the week, like last week, I didn't have it like that. You know what I mean? I had, but I had like some extra left over in order to get me some face wash and to get me, you know, some new face lotion and stuff like that. Like some girl things that I needed for myself. Like that, that feels good to be able to get that for yourself, even though I, um, I had stuff to pay. I took care of my bills, got everything situated and done, and I was able to get something for myself. my face and everything like that. I hope my face gets better, y'all. But I was feeling real hot and, like, real, like, oily and stuff, so I had to wash my face. Um, and I'm about to go to bed because I have to go to work tomorrow. I hate working on Sundays, but it's all good. But, yeah, my whole, like, money, saving, spending situation like I said I feel like sometimes we have to just treat ourselves to something sometimes just so we won't feel so depressed um especially while you're saving and on your way like climbing up the ladder and stuff like everybody has their financial struggles and some weeks are going to be like weeks you don't have nothing some weeks you are going to have a little something and when you do have that little something I do think it's okay to treat yourself as long as you take care of your bills and stuff like that. But everybody struggles with money. And um, we all going to be alright. We're all going to reach that level of success. You know, I hope so one day. Where you don't have to worry about whether you have money to splurge or not. Or you'll be able to spend and still have money to take care of your bills. Like, that's the ultimate goal. To, like, have way more you know balance as far as having enough money for bills and also having enough money to treat yourself and just live life with you know what I mean so that's the ultimate goal for myself and maybe some of you out there can relate to that but yeah my face is like super dry right now because I hate wearing lotion um because I just don't like I like my face to be clean and dry when I go to bed like it feels so tight right here but yeah I'm trying to get rid of <sighs> I really gotta focus more on my skincare I really do I wash my face like every day but I don't I don't, I don't do it to my you know I'm do the best I can do but I'm trying but yeah I'm delusional I'm gonna finish watching this last episode of the last kingdom if you um if you're into like period films and like TV shows, Last Kingdom is pretty good. Their main character, the fine one, Uhtred, he's a mess. He done had like, he had like four women and, and this is like first season I'm watching. They have two seasons on Netflix. It's the first season I'm watching and he, he already has had three women in his life. So he's kind of kooky. He's kind of crazy. He's kind of a player. But it's a pretty good show. I like, like I said, I like period films. I like history, so anything that involves another time period, I'm usually down to watch. So, yeah. But I'm about to go to bed, and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I didn't want to make it, like, too long, and I just wanted to show you the new stuff that I've been trying. And, um, yeah, I hope you like this. And I will see you all next Friday. Bye!